the Giants looking to build across the half back line. Stretch, what a great yep. stretch. Daisy Bateman it was rather for the ruse. Bateman now fires out the handball. Trend goes backwards, looking to move it forward. Riddell is involved and great poise. She's able to hit up Ghana. She's usually a really good finish from directly in front, 40 metres out, sends it on its way, and she squeezes that through. Ghana with the opener. No comment. <laughs> Handballing off to Barr. It was a high ball. What about the leap from behind? Puts it out for a teammate. Neither can pick it up now. A chance for Abitangelo. She's tackled by Randall to the ground. Two handballs backwards, buys a little bit of time and space to Beast and a high ball charging out and taking a good contested mark there is Privatelli. So Yvonne Bonner played every game last year for six goals, sends it on its way, it's a question of distance, hasn't got oh, it, crap. but the mark to Zarika, one of the smallest players out there, and Hanin with a hanger at the top of the goal square. <laughs> so Hanin Zarika, a memorable opening goal in Canberra in the last round last year. She's got her second... To the top of the goal square. Gillespie Jones worked away in the right position. L Bennett's under the pump. Handball's almost to herself, a little underground one, but it's picked up and thrown on the boot for the Kangaroos. And it's a goal for Ghana. She's got her second. Ruse, Alicia King, penetrating kick inside 50. The Giants defence under siege. Randall's caught. Randall's dumped into the turf. Six foot one at the top of the goal square. She converts. So it's a free kick down the ground and the Irish woman Cora Staunton takes it. And a buddy-like approach. Oh, what a mark. McKinnon, no one near her. Tackle affects the kick. Ashmore, almost. Ashmore again. Can she get a clean possession? She's having an almost day. Ashmore coming from the ground. We turn into the third term. Saad back to Carney. Great smother applied by Tully. And in the goal square, it bobbles around Hetherington, just on the outside of the boot. And back to King. Takes the mark, runs in, and this time can redeem herself, Alicia King. That's clever. Dance and almost like a goose step it was from Parker. A high ball lands in the pocket, a sky ball. Schmidt tackled. Randall's got her all wrapped up. Oh, oh Tully. Yeah, Absolute it silliness. will be a free kick, is it? Absolute silliness, it should be. To pull them back in this contest, sends it on its way, and it sails straight over the umpire's head. Hardiman, she's been off injured. Tully, who just kicked the goal. Two on one contest, Steen. Steen, and she goes to ground as Hardiman, and Tully's able to keep it in. Well played by the Giants. Slip through her hands. Great pressure applied by the smaller player there in Randall. Now the Giants are in strife. Oh, that's going to be holding the ball. Plays up forward. Knows how to celebrate goals. Can she convert for her kangaroos? Sends it on the way. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Steen on debut. Doesn't go for home. Does the unselfish thing and she puts it out forward. This might be a chance here for Privatelli. Oh, Carney got in front. Might have just saved a goal. Privatelli goes again. Brings it back and Hicks diving takes the mark. And Nicola Barr looking for a matchup as Allen over the top. And a tackle by Riddell. Here's Garner. Trying to weave her way through and marking on the edge of the square is Gillespie Jones. Not the ideal position. So a chance for Kate Gillespie Jones directly in front. A cheer squad goes up and the Roos are threatening to kick away. Staunton hasn't had too many opportunities. Oh, she's met heavily by Gibson. So the Roos are on the board in 2020. A clinical methodical 18-point win in Launceston.